in today's video i am going to discuss about the concept of raudian in mechanics it is very important so before going through the actual derivation of raudian function first let us consider a certain example obviously all of us know the lagrangian corresponding to the kepler's problem can be considered as half of m within bracket you can write r dot square plus r square theta dot square and obviously k by r now obviously you can see in this expression k is nothing but a force constant and the particle is moving in the in a plane obviously r comma theta are the polar coordinates now here you can see in this expression of l theta is not present so you can say simply theta is nothing but an ignorable coordinate and if we want to find out the corresponding momentum it can be written as what del del theta dot of l and consequently you can find out the corresponding value from this expression which is nothing but m r square theta dot so we can consider this part to be a certain constant say small l for convenience i am writing like this now in this expression you can see the entire structure does not contain in theta but in case of lagrangian formulation you cannot avoid it because if you want to find out the value of theta dot definitely you need to consider the value of theta so we are going to discuss about a certain procedure where we can omit this ignorable coordinates and that particular procedure is known as construction of raudian so here we are trying to find out a certain function that is say denoted by r that will be termed as raudian function and it will be such that it should not contain any generalized velocities corresponding to the ignorable coordinates so we can start the construction of raudian function in the following manner so i am writing the point construction of raudian function so simply we can consider the expression of lagrangian let the lagrangian l be such that l can be written as as a function of q1 q2 q3 dot 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 qn and then you can write q1 dot q2 dot 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 qn dot comma t obviously we all know q1 to qn all these are nothing but generalized coordinates and q1 dot q2 dot 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 qn dot are the associated velocities generalized velocities you can say now if the coordinates q1 q2 dot 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 qk are ignorable coordinates suppose we are considering then we can rewrite this expression of l in the following manner say l can be written as as all these are ignorable so forget about all these expressions so simply write qk plus 1 qk plus 2 dot 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 qn and obviously q1 dot q2 dot 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 qn dot comma t so that let us find out the variation corresponding to l and hence you can see in summation notation by using the normal criteria you can put it this i put this expression like this del del qj of l along with the variation of qj summation varies from k plus 1 to n because you can see the generalized coordinates has the starting suffix as k plus 1 and then also j varies from k plus 1 to n this time you can consider del del qj dot over l and obviously variation of qj dot and then we can have the last term that is del l del t variation of t so as we have assumed first k coordinates are ignorable coordinates so we can consider sorry here you can write this one as j varies from 1 to n because initially we have taken all possible structures now we are going to split this expression from 1 to k and then from k plus 1 to n so we can rewrite this expression like this j is equals to 1 to k del l del q j dot variation of this on the left hand side you have this type of expression on the right hand side 
j varies from k plus 1 to n like this then again j varies from k plus 1 to n already you have considered j varies from 1 to k so that's why this time we can write like this and the last term remains as usual so say this is equation number one now we construct the Raudian function as mentioned earlier it should be denoted by r so we can say now the Raudian function capital R be such that in which the velocities corresponding to the ignorable coordinates that means q1 dot q2 dot 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 qk dot corresponding to the ignorable coordinates q1 q2 dot 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 qk are eliminated and it can be written as say r is a function of qk plus 1 qk plus 2 dot 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 qn and obviously you can consider the associated generalized velocities that is qk plus 1 dot qk plus 2 dot dot dot, dot qn dot comma t now from here you can write the corresponding variation of r so del r can be written like this j varies from k plus 1 to n del r del q j obviously del del q j of r you can write in this way multiplied by variation of q j plus summation j varies from k plus 1 to n del del qj dot of r corresponding variation of qj dot and finally we have the last term that is like this now you can see whatever we have obtained in equation 1 in terms of lagrangian l here everything is similar only difference is what as if we have replaced l by r so say this is equation number 2 also we define the Raudian function as capital R we know it should be denoted by capital R so we can write capital R like this summation say qj dot pj obviously j varies from 1 to k So we have this expression. Now, here we desire, we have desired in fact to eliminate or remove whatever you say qj dot or you can write initially qj, j varies from 1 to k or qj dot where j varies from 1 to k from Lagrangian L to get the function Raudian R. Now from definition we can say variation of r is equals to variation of l minus from here you will get what j varies from 1 to k qj dot del pj then j varies from 1 to n because there is a minus so also we have minus in this case so del qj dot along with pj 
it is very much similar to the uv rule of differentiation actually it is not like that you are taking the variation but you can simply consider as if you are considering the differential corresponding to uv that's why we can have this type of expression so we can write this one as del l minus pj del qj dot we are writing this one initially and then we have j varies from this one qj dot del pj now this part can be written as j varies from 1 to k pj can be replaced by del del qj dot of l along with this variation component minus qj dot del pj where j varies from 1 to k so now already in equation 1 we have obtained this expression like this so we can replace this particular portion by means of rhs of equation 1 so i am going to do that so we can write j varies from k plus 1 to n del l del q j then this expression variation of q j plus j varies from k plus 1 to n del l del q j dot along with corresponding variation and then del l del t along with variation del t and finally we have this last term q j dot along with variation of pj so we have obtained this entire expression by one now uh, say this equation is what equation number is three because already we have obtained equation two now comparing equations two and three and this can be done by equating the coefficients of del qj and del qj dot as they are independent and so we get from here you can see coefficient of del qj is del r del qj whereas this one is what del l del qj so del l del qj that is equal to del r del qj and in a similar manner you can also say del l del qj dot that is equals to del del qj dot of r this one this expression where j varies from k plus 1 to n so this is say equation 4 so putting 4 in Lagrange's equation that is summation j varies from 1 to n we can write ddt of del del qj dot of l minus del del qj of l this part equals to 0 now we get the equations summation taken over j which varies from k plus 1 to in and ultimately you get this type of structure because of this result already we have obtained these two structures so simply we are replacing this so this is the modified structure so here you can see in equation 5 the Raudian function has replaced the Lagrangian function so these are n minus k or the second order equations in terms of non-ignorable variables so by means of this type of Raudian procedure we can eliminate the ignorable coordinates from the equation of motion so we can write this one too in which 
Raudian function has replaced the Lagrangian function. We can write this one and these are n minus k because already you have started from k plus 1 to n that's why n minus k number of structures are there n minus k second order equations in in terms of non ignorable co variables or coordinates because the ignorable variables are already eliminated so in this manner with the help of Raudian procedure we can eliminate all possible ignorable coordinates from the equation of motion hence the result I hope this video will be useful for all of you to understand the concept of Raudian and obviously there are several important problems associated to the construction of Raudian so if you have any doubt again I will say you can put your question in the comment box definitely I will try to solve those problems as early as possible so Hopefully this article will be important for your exam from your examination point of view and obviously uh, it will be helpful for the preparation of your examination. Thank you.